Transport MEC uh, Jacob Mamabolo insists e tolls have no place on Gauteng's roads. He was speaking during an interview earlier following reports that Sanral will block car license renewals if e tolls are not paid. We, as the provincial government, we will definitely uh, spare no effort to completely oppose any attempt that seeks to bring back the e tolls. Uh, we have already written to Honorable Minister Fikil Mbaluda in this regard, and uh, we are expecting feedback from them. But from where we stand as the provincial government, no regulation should have a relationship with the e tolling system that we have clearly said was unnecessary in the first place, bad financial modeling, bad risk management, and uh, this system has actually clearly demonstrate, demonstrated to everybody that is a system we shouldn't even have had in the first place. And uh, to that extent, um, we will await uh, to see what the way forward is, but we are very clear on this matter. Uh, the people of our province have overwhelmingly rejected it all. Well, let's discuss this further now with Wayne Duvenet, CEO of Auto, which has been uh, fighting this from the start. Uh, Wayne, good morning. And it seems more bullying tactics is what we're, we're seeing here. Am I right in, in, in calling it that bullying tactics? And to me, it sounds like, like really uh, another desperate attempt. It would be if they could um, pull it off. They've not been able to withhold one license as a result of uh, non-payment of ETOLs yet. Uh, this was um, put into the R2 amendments uh, to the Act uh, in, within the regulations to try and force uh, the public to pay their e-tolls. Uh, um, but the R2 Act has not come into play yet. Uh, they intend to do so by July this year. Uh, and uh, we, have a, we have a court challenge against R2, not only on its constitutionality, but on matters like this. There are a lot of uh, these regulations that are just impractical and unworkable and... Uh, that need challenging. So nothing's happened yet, but if they ever did get their way in this regard, we would fight that uh, mm. tooth and nail. Because what's happening here is you have a national uh, legislation that's impacting on, on, on local revenues, and mm. that's, uh, that is uh, you know, not allowed, really, in the separation of powers at both national, provincial and level, uh, government level. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if it ever comes about. We don't think it will, but yeah. nonetheless, it has to be challenged and it has to be fought. Well, what are the chances then that, that we will be able to successfully fight and challenge this, uh, Wayne? I mean, we already have our transport MEC. We have our very own Premier who's already said that, you know, they, they, they don't feel that, that this is a fair system, that this doesn't belong on our roads. So are you, are you having any discussions with them, with our Gauteng authorities about this and, and what we can do to actually strengthen the fight against ETOs? Well, we've, we've engaged with them in the past. We've uh, put together a lot of research, good uh, position papers, which they have access to. We've given those to the ministers as well for the alternatives. You must remember that uh, this is election year, so mm -hmm. a lot of this is politics. Uh, the the uh, Gauteng province, at the start of ETOLs, were four ETOLs under Nomvula Mokonyane, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. It was only when David Makura came into power in 2014 uh, where he did raise concerns. Then he saw the public reaction, which was an outright rejection of the scheme. It never achieved more than 40% compliance in 2014. It is down to below 20% now. So it is, this is a public issue, and the public have defied the scheme, and rightfully so. It is boarded to its knees, and uh, we don't believe... In fact, uh, the ETOL case, the court case that we had with uh, Samral, they've pulled the plug on that or put it on hold for two years. Uh, the uh, Credit Bureau Association has made it clear to Samral there will be no blacklisting or default judgments for those who have not paid ETOL. So, in effect, uh, every, every angle of this fight, the uh, citizens have won this uh, uh, matter. It's now for the actual decision, the legal decision for them to switch off the scheme and declare the roads non-toll roads. And that's what the minister uh, is supposed to do. That's what they're supposed to have, uh, they indicated they were going to address two years ago and they still haven't. Well, when, like we say, the, the R2 Amendment Act will be come into effect in July this year. Uh, if, if that happens as scheduled, we, we, we'll wait to see. But if it does happen, like you say, they haven't been able to withhold one single license just yet. But if it does happen after July, what recourse do motorists have? And also, what situation could we find ourselves in? I mean, how many people are you going to throw in jail for not paying their ETOLs, then not having their license disc, and then not being, in, not, not, not being legally on the road? Well, that's, that is the reality. Millions of vehicles in Car 10 
will not be able to be relicensed. And that is uh, an impractical situation to have. Secondly, if they believe that they can suck the 16 billion rand, which is due to Sanra as a result of non paid tolls, out of the system, out of the economy, it's never going to happen. So it's, it's, it's a ludicrous thought, first of all. So we don't believe it will come into fruition uh, or into play just because uh, it's, it's impractical and unworkable. But if they did that, there would be an absolute backlash from society. And we would challenge it in court because, as we've said, and we are challenging that, these issues in court, our case goes to court before the, the Art Act comes into being uh, this year. And, uh, and, and, and that's a matter that, that cannot be allowed to, uh, you know, can't, can't leave that uh, regulation in place. You cannot issue a 500 rand fine for somebody who hasn't paid a 3 rand ETOL bill. It's mm. just mm. absurd and ludicrous. All right, uh, Wayne Divinage, thank you so much there. Continuing the fight against e-tolls and just a bullying or scare tactic for now. Well, let's wait and see what happens.